Welcome to the Bloomfield Saturday Market. We are surrounded by some incredible vendors selling delicious foods, breads, and dips. Our two contestants today, Chef Elsa Santos and Chef Kayla Nagara, are gonna run around the market buying all the ingredients they need to cook some veggie-only dishes on this episode of Plated Pittsburgh. I'm your host, Dave Foreman. Let's meet the chefs. I am Elsa Santos. I'm the owner and chef of the Azorian Cafe. I'm originally from the Azores. It's a group of nine islands from Portugal. And once we moved, I knew that Pittsburgh would be the right place to open my own business. Very welcoming, family-oriented, small, big city, and I feel like I'm at home. I'm a Portuguese slash Azorian chef. It differs from the Mediterranean, even from the mainland Portugal. You live in an island, you have to use all your resources. The organic from the land, fish, seafood. I come with the flair of the islands. I feel that people are so curious about different cuisines now that that really inspired me to really show Pittsburgh the Azorian cuisine. I'm very competitive. I wish I was not as much because that brings some stress and some pressure sometimes. Can't wait to compete and can't wait to Bring the game on. <laughs> I am Kayla Nogueira, the head chef and co-owner at Casa Brazil. I am from Brazil. Uh, I was born and raised in a little town called Juquitiba in the state of Sao Paulo, Brazil. I moved to the US in 2006, but Pittsburgh 2012. I embraced the city, embraced the community, and was the same way around. I'm so blessed with uh, the friends that I made along the way. That I've been cooking for a long time, since I was seven. I don't have any professional cooking background. I didn't go to culinary school or nothing like that. There are a lot of new things, a lot of new cultural foods. That's pretty much what I do, and I love that coming to life. I think it helps to change the scene, be more inclusive. I think I love cooking because of the exploration, like things, the possibilities that a cooking can give you. So it's like people can travel to Brazil without going to Brazil, they just can come here. It's like, oh, that's what Brazilian food tastes like, feels like. I think I'm a fast chef. I like to be good and I like to give a good product. So I think perfection is there in the sense that I strive for the best. I wanna win because winning feels good. I'm not super competitive, but I think winning feels good. All right, chefs, welcome to the Bloomfield Saturday Market. We are so excited to have you here. The goal of today's competition is to run around and buy all the ingredients that you'll need to cook a three-course meal. You have to cook an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert using only ingredients purchased here today at the Bloomfield Saturday Market. Because we are surrounded by so many incredible produce vendors and so many amazing farms, the theme of today's episode is veggie lovers so none of your dishes can contain any meat. They must be completely vegetarian. On top of that, your dishes must include three specific ingredients, beets, tomatoes, and eggplant. You can use those anywhere in your dishes, however you like, but all the ingredients must be purchased here. And because this is played at Pittsburgh, let the spirit of Pittsburgh inspire your dishes as you run around and figure out what ingredients you wanna purchase. You'll have 15 minutes, and 100 bucks to buy everything you need Ooh. for your meal today. Chef Elsa, are you ready? I'm ready. Chef Kayla, are you ready? Yes. All right, because the clock starts now. I feel great and I feel ready to go shopping here at Bloomfield Market, get some fresh veggies, fresh produce, anything that I can find. Oh, I love it. I'm so familiar with the market. I used to be a vendor here for two years. It's known for the fresh vegetables and all the produce. We pick up goat cheese, fresh goat cheese. So excited, this is a veggie only episode to see all the opportunity they have, all the different ingredients here. And what's great too, a hundred bucks, that's a lot of money for a farmer's market. You're getting this stuff so much cheaper than you would at any grocery store. I love my veggies and I cook with them a lot. I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not vegan, but I'm very familiar with cooking uh, vegan meals. I'm excited to bring a little bit of my flavors. I know she's Portuguese, got a lot of influence on Brazilian cuisine, but I'm gonna try to stay away from that. I was hoping for some meat or fish in it <laughs> because that's my comfortable zone, right? But this is the fun part of it. You're gonna have to use your imagination and come up with recipes that you're probably not used to in a daily basis. This market is huge. There's so many different produce vendors, such limited time, only 15 minutes to buy everything they need. Five minutes are already gone. Uh, I'm thinking of a salad and I'm thinking appetizer. So I got basics, onions, tomatoes, which is a requirement, 
uh, garlic, mizuna, which is a nice and fresh. Peppers keep nice and bright. Uh, leeks that I love and butternut squash on the bottom for the dessert. I need to look for pasta. Nope. <sighs> I'm looking for pasta, and there's no way to find pasta here today. In the past two years, I was a vendor. There was pasta. Where is the pasta? Think out of the box and step into plan B. I can't have pasta. I'm gonna have to come up with something else. A lot of things are going through my head right now. I just want to make sure that I can find everything that I need. And also, I'm gonna try to make this gluten-free. So I'm gonna look for a gluten-free bakery um, to make it happen. Chefs, you've got five minutes left. Five minutes remain. Oh my God! <laughs> Five minutes, okay. No! <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, sorry. I have the honey and oats. There we go. Thank you, save the day. Uh, making sure that I got it all. I got it all, but I'm just trying to think if I could get something else. I'm gonna take a look again down here. I just need to check one more thing quick, quick. I was trying to keep it in Pittsburgh, right? Pasta, pasta, pasta. <laughs> With my eggplant, but I guess that's not gonna work. No blueberries, no blueberries, no berries, no berries. I guess I'm a loss with the blueberries too. Okay, chefs, you've got one minute left. There's one minute remaining. Oh no, one minute. X, X, yes. For more peppers. Thank you. May I take this one? Okay, so I think that's all. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Great, and they are organic too, right? Yep. Ah, you just made my day, hon. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Awesome, thank you. I think I got everything. I even got flowers. All right, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay. All right, chefs. Oh, <laughs> how you feeling? How you feeling, Chef Elsa? Good, good. And Chef Kayla? Yep, I even got flowers. Oh, those are so pretty. <laughs> Wonderful. I know shopping can be very stressful, <sighs> but unfortunately, <laughs> You're not done shopping yet. Yeah. What? There's a little twist. You have to get one more ingredient, all right? It could be anything you like from anything at the market, but let the phrase pump up the jam inspire you. Okay? okay. So you're going to have one minute. Go around the entire market, find that ingredient, Ooh. pay for it, and return here. <laughs> one, minute? <laughs> one minute? One minute. Oh, one minute. One minute. <laughs> can we have at least two? Uh, <laughs> I need one. 60 seconds. The best I can do. All right. Okay, okay. okay Challenge right. accepted. Perfect. Chefs, are you ready? Yeah. Ready. All right, because the time starts now. All right. Pump up the jam. Pump up the jam. I really want to see an elevation. You know, a literal pump up the jam. Pump it up. Take it from one level that maybe you had an idea, and you're gonna lift it back up. Sorry, guys, I have to skip in line. I have just one minute to shop. <laughs> Sorry, can I have the jam, the huckleberry jam that you have? Got the jam. Yes, got the jam. Oh, boy. Is alcohol is, uh, even allowed in this? <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I got jam. Pump up the jam. <laughs> Elsa is still shopping. I don't even see her. Yes, let me try this. How much is it? Uh, $12 per bottle. Okay. Basil lime is gonna do it. So I went with some alcohol to cook. I think that's great. Really great twist. All right, 10 oh. seconds, Chef Elsa. 10 seconds, oh my God. All right, and five, four, three, two, oh, one. Yay. All right, Chef Elsa, you're back. Yes, Dave, I'm pumping the jam <laughs> with Basil lime alcohol. Ooh, okay, very nice. <laughs> Chef Kayla, what did you grab? I got a huckleberry jam. Huckleberry jam, yeah. okay, huckleberry um, jam. I was so worried you both were gonna get jammed yeah. up out there. I uh, did a little, I did. Just a little, just a little. Yeah. All right, well you got through it, no problem. So congratulations, the Thank shopping you. challenge is over. Thank you, However, yes. the competition is just beginning because we're gonna take all these beautiful ingredients and head over to our kitchens to create our three course meal. You ready? Yes. All right, ready. Chefs. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. Let's go. I'm happy to be done helping. <laughs> that was a lot of running around. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make something really good happen. I feel more comfortable now that I have the ingredients and I have in my head the three meals. Elsa, get ready. Game on, Kayla. back from the Bloomfield Saturday Market here in the kitchen. Very excited to see what veggie 
only dishes you're gonna make for us. We've got 45 minutes to create an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert, utilizing those three ingredients that you picked up, tomatoes, beets, and eggplant, as well as that surprise ingredient. You're gonna be judged today on presentation, creativity, and taste with some bonus points if you can let the spirit of Pittsburgh inspire your dishes. So think about that as you cook. Joining us today on the judging panel, Brianna White, international writer, creator of Relicious Bites. Thank you so much for being here. Grateful to be here again. Oh, wonderful. And also joining us today, Kwelsi Kogel, local Pittsburgh food stylist and cookbook author. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Absolutely. So judges, veggie only dishes today. What are we looking for? I'm really looking to not miss the meat. I really love meat, I'm a meat lover, so I'm really looking to not even realize that I don't have meat on my plate. And I'm looking forward to the dessert round to see how they incorporate those veggies into the dessert. As a food stylist, this probably won't come as a huge surprise, but I'm gonna have my eyes on the plating because I think aesthetic is really important. And I'm also looking forward to dessert. All right, now the winner of today's competition is gonna receive the tomato trophy <laughs> as well as $500 donated to the local charity of your choice. The Chef Elsa, what charity did you go with? Yes, I went with Casa San Jose. It's a resource center for the Latino community once they arrive in Pittsburgh and to get them settled. And Chef Kayla? I'm also in the Latino world. I'll be supporting the Latino Community Center and the after School Program for Young Kids. Wow, they both sound like excellent charities. Really excited. Can't wait to taste all the delicious food. So are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. All right, let's get the competition started. You've got 45 minutes to cook your meal, and your time starts now. This kitchen is amazing. My first impression was like, wow, it's a big kitchen. So we're starting with our entree, because it's going to take a little longer. And if I cry, don't think I'm having a bad day. It's just the onion. I wish we could peek inside their heads right now to see how they're mapping out their time, because that's so stressful. 45 minutes, three dishes that I have to make. I think I'm very nervous. I know I'm fast when I'm cooking and everything. However, doing an appetizer, a main, and a dessert, 45 minutes, fingers crossed that is enough time. For my entree, I decided to go with the Italian bread, toasted in olive oil with some herbs, eggplant and the zucchini, sauté peppers and onions with some saffron, finished with a over easy egg. For dessert, a butternut squash or a pumpkin compo in Portuguese called uh, doce de abóbora, which is very traditional to Brazilian cuisine. I was able to find uh, butternut squash at the market and I think it would be very good mixing uh, cinnamon sticks and cloves to bring uh, some good flavors and colors. Dessert, that was the challenge for me. So I decided to use the beets and incorporate with some yogurt and some alcohol that I got at the market. For my appetizer, pretty much be a combination of maybe five or six veggies. I feel anxious, <laughs> but I think I'm on pace. All right, Chess, you've got 30 minutes remaining. 30 minutes on the clock. So I'm gonna make a salad, very green and flavorful salad using Mizuna greens, parsley, some tomatoes there as well, and some beets, because I have to incorporate the beets. And then I'm gonna do my twist of french fries and add the french fries to my salad. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> okay, oh boy, I can still save it. Okay, we can still save it, we can still save it. That was not on the plans to get a little bit burned there. I'm gonna add peppers to this french fries when I fry them because the pepper is gonna release a nice good flavor in here. I think these leeks are about ready. I'm gonna go to the sink to wash this off, make sure there's no dirt. So meanwhile, I'm working on the bread to make sure it gets ready. This is still the preparation for my entree. Next, I'm gonna start working on my salad. I'm gonna be working with some beet leaves as well. A green touch to the saute over there. All right, so gamizuna, greens. I'm gonna do this in two parts. I'm gonna cut the ends, but I'm gonna use the end for garnish. <laughs> My appetizer, I'm using a glazed balsamic sauce, then having the, the fresh organic tomato with some fresh goat cheese and a garnish with a mint. I'm very nervous about completing the task on time. I'm trying basil greens that I got at the farmer's market to make fairly complex dishes, but at the same time, simple. So I hope I have enough time to do everything. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. And to start on my french fries because my oil is nice and hot. 
All right, chefs, you've got 15 minutes left. There's 15 minutes on the clock. Well, I'm confident because, like, been cooking for a long, long time. We always have the rushes and the pressure, and we call it when we in the weeds. Oh, she's plating already? Oh, I'm behind. <laughs> I'm not keeping an eye on Elsa at all. I'm letting her do her thing. I'm doing my thing over here. I want to make sure that I'm safe and then I'm cooking a good product. Here comes our dessert. I'm going to have enough time. So my dessert's ready. I'm going to go ahead and plate it. I feel that it's crunch time. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm not going to make it. Working with gluten-free bread can be a little bit tricky. I'm going to put this in the oven for just a little bit. This is the little bit of the bartender in me, right? Using my secret ingredient that I only had one minute to get it. This is going to be an adult smoothie. And that's the way we're going to use our beets. And then just going to make the dressing for the salad. And then I'll be done. All right, two minutes left, chef. There's two minutes on the clock. You got this. Get it on the plate. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Let's see. I work in a restaurant. Yes, we're used to cooking under pressure. However, not this type of pressure. No, I'm not done yet. Not done yet. All right, chefs, you've got 10 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is it. Time is up. You have done it. Congratulations. <laughs> I think I got it, put everything down. Timing was almost perfect, but I'm, I'm happy with what I put on the table. So I feel confident, I feel that they're unique, and I used uh, the vegetables in a different way. So let's get that price. Chefs, you've completed the 45 minute cooking competition. You've prepared the veggie lover's meal for us. We're very excited to taste what you've got. Chef Elsa, could you let us know what you've got for us for the appetizer? The appetizer, I got glazed balsamic at the bottom of the plate. Then I have the organic tomato that I got at the market. Fresh goat cheese garnished with mint. I love the creaminess of that goat cheese. It just melts into that beautiful tomato. Well, my first thought is that this is a pretty standard dish. That being said, all these ingredients are super fresh. I do like the mint and that you use goat cheese instead. So you did add a few twists to a standard dish. Chef Elsa, thank you so much for the appetizer. Can you let us know what we've got for the entree? Yes, we have the peppers and onions sauteed with some seasoning that I mixed. Garlic, salt, pepper, saffron. And I have the zucchini eggplant under the egg. Yeah, this feels like a primani sandwich situation <laughs> where you just have to shove it in your face. I really love all the colors on the plate. It's a really beautiful presentation. The cook on that egg is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. The way that yolk breaks. Thank you. Thank you so much for the entrees. Very delicious. Now, could you tell us about the dessert, please? Yes, that was the challenge. I used the beets, I used the yogurt base, and then some honey. Bit of adult drink alcohol in there. <laughs> it's an anise liqueur with lemon. And I used the beet leaf to decorate and, and do the garnish. I feel like I'm going to have like a milk mustache <laughs> when I drink this. <laughs> a lot of competing flavors. It's very sour, very different, unlike anything I've ever had before. You nailed it in that it is such a treat still. It's like a palate cleanser, which is really nice. And I actually really like the vinegary notes that are coming, I guess, from your secret ingredient. Yeah. Kudos and points for creativity, because I've never tasted anything quite like this. I'm just not sure I love the consistency of it. OK. Chef Elsa, thank you so much thank for the you. tasty dishes. Thank yeah. you. The chef Kayla, you're up next. Can you let us know what you prepared for the appetizer? So I made the gluten-free bruschetta. So I have leeks, I have eggplants, I have tomatoes, I have peppers, and I have habanero, but sweet habaneros. But I have some chili peppers in there, and then I use some of the huckleberry uh, jam to give a little bit of sweetness in there, but it shouldn't be able to taste that much. Well, I'm impressed with how many ingredients you were able to get in such a short period of time. I was gonna say, you get a lot of that sweetness mm -hmm. from the jam, from the bread. I would have liked a little more heat from those peppers. I do like a little spice okay. to balance it out, but the roast that you got in these veggies is outstanding. Chef Kayla, thank you so much for the appetizer. Could you let us know what we have for the entree? Yes, yeah, so with the main dish, I gave you a salad. Mizuna greens that had that nice and crispy and earth uh, flavor to it. I added the beets as well. 
And I gave the Pittsburgh twist by giving the French fries. This is the prettiest Pittsburgh salad I've ever oh. seen. <laughs> now, I'm the type of person who I drench my salads in dressing. <laughs> so when I first seen the salad, I was just like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. But the flavor is really, really good. The light dressing works well with this. It does lack a little focus, like a little central focus. I do like the ingredients, but then they come together. It just feels like that star is missing from the dish. Chef Kayla, thank you so much for the entrees. Now, could you please let us know what you prepared for the dessert? I made dosi jabobora, which is translates to English as a pumpkin compote. That's a very traditional uh, Brazilian dessert. Butternut squash, very low heat, with a little bit of water, some sugar, and um, the spices, the cinnamon sticks, and the cloves. That first bite just felt so comforting immediately, and the smell is so nice. Maybe cooked a little more, a little okay. softer, mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe some like vanilla or maple, something to round out the notes. I appreciate that you went vegan through all your courses, and that's really challenging. And I appreciate that you did it with real ingredients and wholesome ingredients instead of fake anything. Chefs, thank you so much for your hard work at completing those amazing meals for us. We're going to have to deliberate now. If you could please leave the room. Okay. Thank you so thank much. You. Judges. The most difficult part of our job now, deliberation, veggie lovers today. Some of those dishes made me love veggies. Some of them dishes, not so much. All right, let's go ahead and start with Elsa's appetizer. I love tomato, basil, and mozzarella, classic combination. She turned it on its head with the goat cheese and the mint. I do think it was a little disappointing in that it is a pretty standard appetizer, and I was looking for her to dig a little deeper with creativity. So that toast with the egg on top, the zucchini and the eggplant, and those peppers, a little heavy, but I really like the way that bread just soaked everything up. I think she really got some good textures on the eggplant and zucchini, and it's really easy for that to turn to mush. It was very tempting aroma-wise. Finally, Elsa's dessert. Hard to argue that was not veggie forward. I think it was really refreshing, and I liked the vinegar coming through. It was almost like a sweeter Vichy Soise in a way. All right, so Chef Kayla, her appetizers with the bread and the sauteed vegetables. I usually, of course, don't eat gluten-free bread, but I could, really couldn't tell that much of a difference, so it was, it was enjoyable for me. She was able to incorporate a lot of ingredients, but maybe pushing them a little bit more to bring out even more of those flavors. Salad, her entree. I like the idea, I like the concept. It just felt a little aimless to me. It didn't have focus. And the potatoes were great, they were delicious, but it wasn't enough to hold that entire salad together for me. I agree. I mean, it, it, it could have been a little bit more refined. You can't go wrong with adding french fries to the salad. We're in Pittsburgh, of course. Absolutely, the Pittsburgh <laughs> element. That pumpkin compote, that was unlike anything I've ever been served in a restaurant. I would order that in a heartbeat at a restaurant. It was like I could picture myself under my covers eating that at home. Yeah, it was just like a warm autumnal hug, and what more can you ask for for dessert? All right, well, it sounds like we've come to a decision. Thank you very much, judges. I appreciate it. Tough. Go ahead and bring the chefs back in. All right, chefs, the judges have deliberated and we have come to a decision. It was incredibly difficult for us to decide. Both of you had some great parts and some not so great parts. The winner of this episode of Plate at Pittsburgh, the Tomato Trophy, and $500 for your local charity is Chef Kayla Nagara. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel awesome. <laughs> I won. <laughs> I'm very excited about donating to the Latino Community Center. Working with Elsa, it was fun, but at the same time, Elsa, <laughs> so campeón, I won. <laughs>